but yeah, it looks so good that it's now that it's metal. I love. Oh, I need to get you turned to black. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's Zig and Bagel here, and welcome back to another episode of Vanillish Arc. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to tap that like button, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. All right, we are back, and uh, today we're going to upgrade our base to metal, which is very, very exciting. I'm probably going to paint it as well to match the rest of everything. So uh, between episodes, our other RG has fully matured. It's imprinted. And I forgot to show you uh, last episode that I went ahead and traded all of the uh, stone pillars into metal pillars and got them painted as well. So we don't have to worry about them. I took care of that between uh, last episode and the episode before it. And the name I was looking for for this RG was Black Flash. That's what Zoom became. After he was taken by the time race, he became the Black Flash. So, he's Black Flash, and so far I'm just putting points into movement speed. Probably going to go to about 250%, and then put points into weight, and maybe get melee up to 1,000. But we'll see how things go. He's pretty, or she, is pretty darn cool looking though. I like it. Uh, one thing I'm going to have to do is I was going to make a saddle, but I am completely out of keratin and chitin from all the cementing paste I've made, which I made sure that there's plenty of extra in our storage just in case I need to make more metal stuff, which I might need to make more ceilings and regular walls. So we got a good amount saved up here and metal. We got a good amount of metal saved up still too. So we should hopefully have enough to do everything. So to start things off, I'm going to start replacing all of the regular windows like this so that they're all done. And we're just going to do this stuff together. Come on. Uh, will you go down there? This might be a little bit of a pain in the butt to try to do. I might need to do it from the outside. It's trying to place right there right now, which is definitely where I don't want it. So, yeah, you will go there. And I'm not sure how well a uh, speedy up it's going to go for this build, considering that I'm going to be getting resources back and having to drop them off. A lot like when I was uh, doing the floor. So, a couple more here, and we'll be good to go with all of the windows and man you guys are all really loud ah, really loud birds let's pick up this one right here put you in we got three more what other ones am i missing you know we got that guy right there to put in oh we got these guys here okay i was like wait a second shouldn't we have some on this side as well up oh, up oh, i had it there for a second Come on. I know you can do it. Up, oh, it was there. And there we go. We got it. Awesome. Okay. So, yeah, what I'm going to do with a lot of these is the one spot for coloring will be black. And all the rest of them will be the yellow to make a nice, cool gold look to it. Um, hmm. I'm probably going to have to come out here. To get that last window in. Let's go around the outside to get it in. Right over here. Hopefully this will do it. Six and it's not wanting to do a replace right now. Is that going to do it? Let's see. There we go. Perfect. It works. Yay. Okay, so now we can do the... Double door bits. There's one there and one up. Okay, this is going to be easier from the inside with these. Uh, while I'm at it, let's replace the double doors here and on the other side. 
Alright, right here. Like so. And right there, like so. We can put in our replacement doors. Okay, I'm gonna have to take out the old doors first, so I'll just pick them up. Just in case we need some uh, regular stone or reinforced double doors at some point. Pick you guys up. Put our metal ones in. Just like this. Oh yeah. So, so good. Very exciting. So one thing I am worried about with doing this upgrading is when I get to the railings, if I'm going to destroy uh, my multi-lamps that are on the railings. So we'll see what happens when we get to that point. If it does, I'll end up just having to put new ones down, which is a big waste of resources, but eh, what am I going to do? Okay. Uh, if it does destroy one of them, I might end up just picking the other guys up so we don't waste a bunch. Okay, you're in here. You go there. Oh, yeah. Very, very good. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Just trying to make sure I don't screw things up. And now we're going to have to drop all of this off. I'm actually thinking I might grab the transfer tool and set it to transfer what stone, wood, and thatch into the crafting station. Yeah, you right here. We can set, uh, since we can set it to do stuff, we'll go nine and we want to go, whoa, they changed, they must have changed this thing. Huh. It's really weird. Uh, how do I do this now? It's so different. Weapons, armor, saddles, skins, seed, item action, destroy. Okay. I'm kind of confused now. So let's try... We got um, wood, thatch, and stone. So most of these are all at the bottom. So stone, uh, thatch, wood. Huh, is this not the right tool or did they change something? S plus inventory assist. Oh! That's not the one I want, inventory assist. Not even sure what this guy does. We might have to look at it at some point. But that's not the one I was looking for. It was the transfer tool. Yeah, there we go. That's the right one. Now we can do this correctly. So from personal inventory, we want to transfer wood, thatch, and stone. Let's just grab it. Wood... Uh, thatch and stone from personal inventory into S plus crafting station right there. We'll save that for number one. So it's preset and transfer. I think that, wait, what's this? S plus inventory assist. Oh, we still have a buff from it even though it's gone. That's interesting. Didn't know that thing existed, but now we have a quick way. We can get rid of the resources that are on us while we're building. Okay, put you here. There. Those are regular doors. He goes there. Okay, that's... Is that... Okay. Not all of this side yet. We still got these ones to do. Here. Just want to make sure we don't miss any while we're going around. And come do this side here. Oh, get out of my way. I probably should have just moved the RGs out of here while I was doing this so they don't get in the way. Uh, here's a good test to see if it's going to destroy a light. Hopefully it won't. Oh, look. Good. The light's still there. Awesome. Unless it gets destroyed when I replace that wall. But we'll find out sooner than later. Put you here and there. I'm feeling good about those lights not being destroyed now. Yep, yep. You get your furry butt out of my face. Okay, that looks good here. 
And I did count for all these, so we should have the perfect amount for everything. So you're in there. Get, uh, zer, get. Okay, I'm not going to be able to walk between you. So that should be all of the double doors that we've used in this area. I'm going to have to do some of them from the outside in this section because of the vaults. So let's take care of this side first. Shall we? There. And... Here. Here. So yeah, I want to make sure to say, guys, that I hope you're having a great day. My day is going quite well. And I do hope you enjoy this episode. It should be a good one. And not sure what speedy up bit noise or uh, sound or but music, gosh, words, I'm going to use for the episode. But I guess it's going to be a surprise going into the metals. So yeah, you right here, there. We got two more left. Is that, I think I didn't make enough. I was pretty sure I counted right, but maybe I didn't. So we need two more there. Oh, do we just need two more? Is that it? Okay, so two more of the double doors. Oh, I totally forgot that I needed to make two more of them because of the actual doorways, and I never made two more. So double door, stone double door. No, we want metal double door frame. Two of you like so man the lagginess at our base is crazy I might actually have to make a secondary place to start storing uh, dinos that we aren't going to be using often like our equus and such oh yeah definitely coming along with all of the metal stuff let's come over here and just transfer wait I wasn't getting any wood or anything back from that? Huh. Interesting. I wasn't getting any resources back from destroying those guys. Cool, cool, cool. We'll grab the regular doorways. Hmm. What else? Walls. I think walls will probably be the next one. Oh, yeah. We're pretty full now. So, let's come over here. We were on four for the doors. And here. Uh, four. Okay, we're going to have to take care of those on the other side. And we might as well take care of this one before we go out there. Just like that. And soon, I think it's going to be night soon. And I'm probably going to cut and wait till the day comes for the speedy up bit. So just trying to do this stuff with you until we get to about that point. I want to get rid of the window sections of the base with you. So our speedy up bits were easy with just getting walls, ceilings, roofs, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and the railings as well. Okay, so there's the doors, all that good stuff. This base is definitely going to be coming along nicely. Can we... yeah, get you in there and I should be able to just do the rest from inside so it's easier let's come over here you in just like this I really love our window designs we came up with when we first built this place and it's looking pretty good as metal too I will say I like how it looks and I can't wait to see how it looks with uh, paint Four and one here. Uh, while I'm doing this, I should say that if you guys haven't checked me out on Patreon, you should go uh, take a look. The links are in the description down below for any of the social media, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. But if you want to help support me, uh, even if you don't have much to give, there's uh, Patreon rewards starting at $1 and making their way up from there. I believe at the $5 mark you get early access for videos and it's 10 or 15 for Patreon server access which I will get a Patreon server up as soon as we have somebody at that level. Looking good, I think. Okay, we still got 8 more. 
Who are we missing? Got all these. I think we're missing the ones on this side? Yeah. Over here. You there. And here. Nope, nope. Don't want to place it in the wrong spot. It'd be a horrible, horrible disaster. There. And yeah, it's definitely almost night. So perfect timing for being done. One more right there. Oh, yeah. Let's drop off. Oh, yeah, the lights are starting to turn on already. What? I'm not getting... I'm not getting resources? Am I dropping them? Is that inventory assist thing doing something to all that wood and, st or, and stone and such? Kind of wondering what's happening to all of it because of that inventory assist guy. Is it dropping it? Is it not having me pick him up at all? I'm not really sure. I'm kind of wondering if there's a way to turn it off now. Uh, inventory assist. How do we turn this off? UI right click to toggle on and off quickly. Okay. Let's put you back out. Toggle it off. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about that thing getting in the way from our resources. And it's nighttime, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead, wait for the day to begin, and we're going to jump right into a speedy up bit. Uh, first with the walls, and then getting onto the ceilings, and all of the other stuff. So yep, I, I hope you guys enjoy the speedy up bit, and I'll bring you in right about now. <laughs>
and we're back. So I hope you guys enjoyed the speedy update of getting our base upgraded to metal. I went ahead and did the railing and the at least main painting. I only did the main black so far. I'll probably do the gold between episodes. But I did want to show it off real quick. And I'm glad I cut away and didn't and not going to be including the uh, the railing because it was a real pain in the butt to get in there. And I had to do a lot of fixing with the sloped roofs because they weren't matching up very well either. But uh, yeah, I also had to make uh, more lamps because I had to take some of them. Uh, I actually took some of them off. Some of them accidentally got destroyed, but I had to replace them down here. I don't think I'm going to bother recoloring them just yet. Uh, but yeah, it looks so good that it's now that it's metal. I love... Oh, I need to get you turned to black. I love this S plus uh, spray thing too because it reaches really far. Like I didn't... I could... I was able to just be downstairs and paint the entire ceiling without coming up here. Which was very, very handy. So let's try to get a bird's eye view of the place real real quick jump off and we'll just hop on garbage hello garbage let me hop out on you and see what our place looks like oh yeah the base looks awesome i love it so yeah i think with that we're gonna go ahead and end things off for this episode guys it has been a really long one for me getting all this done and set up for you so, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Vanillish Arc. If you did, then don't forget to show your support and tap that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the daily videos. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, don't forget to live long and... Prosper!